Module 4, Lesson 10. Objective today is to compare and evaluate expressions with parentheses. Here I have some words to describe my expression. I have the product of 7 and 3, and I have a comma here divided by 2. So I will look at the product of 7 and 3. The product is an answer to a multiplication problem. In this case, I am multiplying 7 and 3 together. So I have 7 times 3. And it says I'm dividing by 2. I'm dividing that product of 7 and 3 by 2. There was that comma there. So that we can further specify that. We can write this out as a fraction as we're evaluating this. We have 7 times 3 divided by 2, so this does equal 7 times 3 halves. 7 times 3 is 21, and we have 21 halves. 2 goes into 21 10 whole times with the remainder of 1. Therefore, when we're evaluating this expression, we get Ten and a half. This expression, 7 times 3 divided by 2, which is the product of 7 and 3 divided by 2, does evaluate to 10 and a half. So we have this in words. We have this written out as an expression. And by going through our steps in our process, we've evaluated this expression. Instructions here are to compare the expressions that are in word form and numerical form. On the left here, we have the word form, and on the right here, we have the numerical form. Of course, we could write out the expression and evaluate it, which we will do shortly. Now, the other way to go ahead and approach this is to go ahead and draw bar models for each. So we have 7 plus 18 divided by 2. And then so for that expression on the right, let's draw that bar model. Here we have 7 plus 18, and that's that sum. And it says that we're dividing it by 2. So we're dividing it in half. And then so this is our question mark here. And this bar model represents 7 plus 18 divided by 2. Now when we have 3 quarters the sum of 7 and 18, we can draw that same bar model. In the same length, that is, because we have 7 plus 18 with that sum. And in this case, we're taking 3 quarters of it. So we have it divided into quarters. And in this case, for that expression on the left here, and that expression that was in word form, this is what we have here, 3 quarters of it. And we know 3 quarters of the sum of 7 and 18 is bigger than 1 half of it. So even without figuring it out, we know that this would be greater than. Now if we were take, to take the time to complete that work, we would have 7 plus 18 divided by 2, which is 7 plus 18 is 25, and it would be 25 halves, which equals 12 and 1 half. 3 quarters of the sum of 7 and 18 would be, let's see, the sum of 7 and 18 again is still 25, and we're taking 3 quarters of that. So 3 quarters of it, 3 quarters times 25, that's 75 over 4, and 
and working that out, it would be more than 12 and a half. Let's do a little bit of work here. One, 35, that's six, seven, eight. That's 32, and that would be 18 and 3 fourths then. Eighteen and three fourths is bigger than twelve and a half. Here I'm comparing words with an expression. I'll write out these words as an expression first, and then evaluate them. We have subtract two from one half of nine. So I have one half of nine, which would be one half times nine, and I'm subtracting two from it. In this case, I'm still comparing it with 11 minus 2 divided by 2. Let's evaluate both sides of this expression. We have 1 half times 9. That would be the same as 9 halves. And we're subtracting 2 from that. 9 halves can be written as 4 and a half. Because 2 goes into 9 4 whole times with the remainder of 1 minus 2. 4 and a half minus 2. 4 minus 2 is 2, so that's 2 and a half. Now evaluating the other side of our comparison here, we have 11 minus 2, which is 9, and we're dividing it by 2. 9 divided by 2 is 4 and 1 half, just as we did right here. So we're comparing two and a half with four and a half, and we know that two and a half is less than four and a half. Okay, it is your turn. Here you're asked to write an expression to match a tape diagram, and then evaluate. Here's the tape diagram. Write this out in words first, and then write out a numerical expression to match those words. What we're doing here is we have this here, 7 plus 13, with the words, did you write out, the sum of 7 and 13, and in this case, it looks like we're dividing that, that sum of 7 and 13, divided by 2. We will place a comma there, so that we know that we are taking the sum of 7 and 13, all of that, and dividing it by 2. Our numerical expression to match that would be 7 plus 13, in parentheses, dividing it by 2. Finally, our instructions do say to evaluate as well. Did you evaluate your expression? 7 plus 13 is 20, divided by 2. That also is equal to 20 halves, and 20 halves does equal 10. So our words, they match our numerical expression, and then we work to evaluate it as we were looking at that tape diagram. Here I have two more expressions. You will notice that both of them are written in word form. We'll go ahead and write them out, thinking about what it is that's written there, and then we can even compare them. Just by looking at these, I can't quite tell which one is larger and which one is smaller, whether or not they are equal. This says two times as much as the sum of three quarters and two thirds. So it looks like we're taking the sum of three quarters and two thirds to begin with. Let's put that in parentheses. Sum, remember, is the answer to an addition problem. 
and it says we're taking that sum and we're going two times that or we're doubling it. So let's go two times that amount. We would need a common denominator to be able to solve that. Let's choose 12. So that would be 9 twelfths plus 8 twelfths. And we're going two times that amount. As we continue to evaluate that, we have two times 9 plus 8 is 17 twelfths. So we have two 17 twelfths. Expressing that as a repeated addition, it would be 17 twelfths plus 17 twelfths, which would be 34 twelfths. Or, I can go 2 times 17 over 12, which again, as I just stated, was 34 twelfths. Using the standard algorithm to go ahead and help in working that out, that would be 34 minus 24 is 0. Um, and this is 1 there. So that's 10 twelfths. So that's equal to 2 and 10 twelfths. 2 and 10 twelfths also is equal to 2 and 5 6, if I were to put it back into simplest form. Now here we have 2 fifths the product of 1 third and 6. 2 fifths the product of 1 third and 6. 1 third times 6 then. 2 fifths of this product. 2 fifths of that amount. So this is the expression we have. We evaluate puts in parentheses first. We have 1 third times 6. That would be equal to 6 thirds. Or 6 over 3, which does evaluate to 2. So we're looking at 2 fifths times 6 over 3. As I just stated, 6 over 3 does evaluate to 2. So we're looking at 2 fifths times 2 which is just equal to 4 fifths. And so this expression down here is much lower and smaller than the other expression.